lunches or dinners can be theme based so that they allow you the opportunity to explore a new cuisine or a new region. One such meal that's a sure shot hit in this family is my Arabian inspired saffron scented chicken pilaf. Warm flavors coming together and the trick here is it gets done in 20 minutes flat. Let's get to cooking it. Starting off this process, I've taken a kg of boneless chicken, that's the breast part, and I've just marinated it with about 200 grams of yogurt, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and some minced garlic. All this comes together with some salt. You allow it to rest and marinate for at least an hour so that the flavors get sharper and pronounced. Starting off, I'm just going to ensure my pan is nice and hot. Into that, I'm going to add some almond slivers because I want them to toast and bronze nicely. So about 15 almonds that I've blanched and just cut them into the finest of slivers. We're just going to allow these to toast along with some beautiful nuts. That's the cashew nuts. So about 15 cashew nuts out go in as well. We're just going to allow these to toast now. As the nuts are toasting and they're getting that perfect golden brown, more rather bronze in color, here I've got a liter of chicken stock or five cups of chicken stock. What I'm going to do is, as it's warm and hot, I'm just going to add a gram of this gorgeous saffron right into it and allow it to infuse because saffron really works well when it infuses and a gram is what gives it that burst of flavor and so Arabian in nature. With these nicely toasted and got that perfect bronze color to it, we're just going to lift this off into a bowl and allow it to rest on the side. Arabian Nights always conjure up beautiful images of blues and turquoise coming together on a magic carpet. While trying to live up to the expectation of that, into my pan I'm using about 10 ml of olive oil out here. And to that, I'm going to add some butter. So a good 30 grams of butter going in just so that it melts and we get to sauteing our rice. I'm using about 500 grams of basmati rice out here. Or you can just go right ahead and use two and a half cups. The ratios and the proportion is very simple. Care must be taken to remember that one cup of rice to two cups of stock or water ratio should be followed. We're just going to lightly toast this in butter so that it gets that more sharper flavor, very nuttier in nature though. Lightly seasoned so that the rice gets that little crunch that's required and it toasts beautifully. And invariably your stock is seasoned as well. So care must be taken to ensure it's just not too much. Nicely toasted, in goes the chicken stock with the saffron strands and all. Look at the beautiful golden yellow color coming through, scenting this entire mix. The sharp aroma and scents of saffron wafting through my entire kitchen is by far beautiful. Allow this to come to a boil and then simmer it on the slowest possible flame. Basmati rice actually cooks within 15 minutes flat. We shut it on the lowest possible. Simmer, 15 minutes and counting. With the saffron pilaf cooking on the slowest possible simmer, in a pan out here, I'm going to add about 10 ml of melted butter because I just want to grill my chicken nuggets separately here. So these have been marinating, like I said earlier, for two hours. I'm just going to pick these pieces up, yogurt, marinade and all, and just slightly put these into a pan to grill. With the chicken nicely grilled and you can see the beautiful specks that the cinnamon has brought to the entire thing, I allow it to char a little bit. A tip here is do not discard any marinade. Allow the marinade to cook along with the chicken so that it forms one of those luscious of coatings. With this ready, we're just going to now get to the fun part of assembling the entire mix.
with the chicken dan and the saffron pilaf scented beautifully and it's bloomed so well. All we're going to do now is loosen out the grains with a fork. So just go liberal and loosen them out. You can see how the beautiful saffron strands is still continuing to speck the entire rice and fragrant it. So now it's all about getting everything to mix in one single pot. So firstly, in goes the chicken that we had grilled. I'm just going to put these large chunks, juice and all into it and allow it to mix with the rice. To that, I'm going to add the toasted bronze nuts, actually. Some pistachios just to mix in. Some bloomed raisins. So I just took about a handful of raisins and had them nicely bloomed in some olive oil. And now we're just going to allow these to liberally mix with each other. Don't try and break the grain, so just allow it to gently toss, fold and mix with each other. Now this colors need a burst of green coming through some flat leaf parsley. So I've just taken a large handful of it. So go right ahead and enjoy adding this in and lightly toss again so that it gives those little specks of green into this gorgeous rice. A final sprinkle of some pistachio slivers on top just to add to that softness and the gooey texture that pistachios bring. I love the green brown overtones that it gets to the dish. You can also throw in some olives, some capers just to give it that piquant flavor. This forms the basis of many a happy themed meal where you just lay out a carpet Put the dish right in the center, pair it along with some minted yogurt, some plates, sit on the floor, play out some Arabic music or some Bedouin music and enjoy this one starry night wonder that can be created and evolved time and again. I hope you enjoyed creating this gorgeous meal with me. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button and as I always say, don't forget to subscribe. Oh,